This is relentless. Most people are willing to settle for good enough. Being the best means engineering your life, so you never stop until you get what you want. And then you keep going until you get what's next. And then you go for even more. Relentless. Most people give up because everyone has told them what they can't do and it's easier to stay safe in the comfort zone. So they sit on the fence, unable to decide, unable to act. But if you don't make a choice, the choice will be made for you. Mental edge is everything in my line of work. If I have an altercation with a player, but the result is going to be so much worse for him because I'm going to deal with him mentally. There are no shortcuts. I don't want to hear about workouts you can do in five minutes a day or 20 minutes a week. That's total bullshit. If he keeps showing up despite the pain and exhaustion, we're good to go. If he tells me he can't make it, he's in the wrong place. There are plenty of trainers out there who will work that way, not me. Get comfortable being uncomfortable or find a place to fail. What's stopping you? All the restrictions and limitations, the negativity and doubt. If that sounds complicated and confusing, let me make it simple. You have to stop thinking. You already know what to do. The greatest battles you will ever fight are with yourself, and you must always be your toughest opponent. Challenge yourself to be uncomfortable. Push past the apathy and laziness and fear. Otherwise, the next day, you're going to have two things you don't want to do, then three, and four, and five, and pretty soon, you can't even get back to the first thing. Do it now. You invest in what you started, pushing yourself again and again beyond where you've already been. Staying safe means being limited, and you can't be limited if you're going to be relentless. What is that limit? When you're one of the greatest athletes in your sport, you don't announce you're old at the age of 30 and ready to pass the team along to the younger guys. If you think you're old, you become old. Do not tell me you can't do this. Navy SEALs are cleaners. They lock in on their mission and stop at nothing to execute it. They know what has to be done and it gets done. They expect to succeed. And when they do, they never celebrate for long because there's always more to do. I've made tons of mistakes. I'm going to make plenty more, but I never think of them as failures. Failure to me is when you bring other people into it. When you're looking for an out instead of accepting your own mistake and planning a route to resolving the issue. Once you start blaming others, you're admitting you had no control over the situation. When you can laugh at yourself and not take every setback seriously, that's confidence. On the other hand, when someone says something to you that you don't like or you don't want to hear and you allow it to put pressure on you, even for a moment, that's a confidence problem. When someone else says you failed, what they really mean is, if that were me, I would feel like a failure. Well, that guy's not you, and he's obviously not a cleaner, because cleaners don't recognize failure. And ask yourself honestly, what would you have to sacrifice to have what you really want? Your social life, relationships, credit cards, free time, sleep? Now answer this question. What are you willing to sacrifice? If those two lists don't match up, you don't want it badly enough. To me, success isn't about how much money I can make. It's never been about that. Success is about doing things that no one else can do. Do or don't, do it. And if it doesn't work, do it again. When did hard work become a skill? It doesn't take talent to work hard. Anyone can do it. Are you looking for that non-existent shortcut? Or are you ready to do things the right way? Do you want it easy or do you want it great? Every dream you imagine, everything you see and hear and feel in your sleep, that's not a fantasy, that's your deep instinct telling you it can all be real. Follow those visions 
and dreams and desires and believe what you know. Only you can turn those dreams into reality. Never stop until you do. I truly believe I have zero limitations. Everything you want can be yours. Be a cleaner and go get it. Be relentless. Done. Next. 제가 방금 이책 Relentless 영업판 읽었습니다. 아, 저한테 되게 많은 도움이 됐는데 아, 그리고 제가 배웠던 거, 또 그동안 군 생활하면서 느꼈던 거, 전쟁터에서 느꼈던 거 여기서 다시 확인을 할수 있었습니다. 그래서 이 책은 영어판은 이렇게 생겼지만 한국판은 이렇게 생겼습니다. 어, 많은 도움이 될것 같은데 멘탈 관리가 필요하시다면 아니면 멘탈 가이던스가 필요하다면 이책 추천합니다. 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 락시 l 이근대이였습니다.